say that breakfast is the healthiest meal of the day. But who are they? Seriously, I love breakfast, so I actually agree with them on this one. So today, I'm going to be making my tasty five-minute oatmeal. Check it out. We're gonna begin with a little simple pan. So I just have my little Le Creuset pan. I actually wanted to get a pan to melt butter in and I had two options at the Chef Central store. I had an option that was like $10 and an option that was $35. So this is a really nice Le Creuset pan. It was my first Le Creuset ever and I love it. Perfect for oatmeal. We're gonna turn on the fire. And to get started with our oatmeal, we're gonna fill this up with mostly water. Come join me at the fridge. Okay, so we're just going over to the fridge and we're gonna fill up our pan about halfway. I don't know exactly how much water this is. It doesn't really matter. If you use a larger pan, you could fill it up more than I did, but this is about halfway full with water. Let's go back to the stove. Back on the hob. Who says hob? Back on the stove. And now we're gonna turn on our fire. Like I said, if you use a larger pan, you'll add more water. You could also do this with milk, almond milk, or oat milk. I usually prefer to do it with water because it's a little healthier, but I'm gonna add in a little splash of one of those as well. Now let's turn on our fire to kind of a medium low. This is gonna get hot very fast because it's a small pan with not a lot of water in it. I'm gonna add a little splash of regular milk. Here I have some milk and I'm just gonna add that much. You'll ask me how much that is, I'll tell you. It's a splash. Just gives a little bit of creaminess. Like I said, if you make it with all milk, you'll get a really, really creamy oatmeal. But one thing I must say is you have to be very careful to not let this boil over because if you walk away for a minute, this will start bubbling over and just spill out. You'll notice I didn't show you all the different ingredients for this because it's so quick and I just grab them from my pantry and put them straight in. So I'm gonna add those right now. First things first, we're gonna add in some spice. I'm gonna start with a little bit of nutmeg. Now you could add as much as you like or or you could omit this. I usually like about that much, but again, it depends on how big your pot is and how much oatmeal you're making. A Little bit of nutmeg gives it a little nice spice. Then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of pure vanilla extract. Again, just a little drip. Use the good stuff, guys. If you're using the fake stuff, you're gonna get fake tasting oatmeal. I'm gonna add some pure, 100% natural maple syrup. Just kind of swirl it in there. And this pan's getting hot already, but these flavors are gonna start melding together to form a really, really good base for our oatmeal. And then the last ingredient is a tiny bit of salt. Now you may think that salt is weird to add into an oatmeal, but it really does enhance the flavors around it. So just a little bit of salt really does a great job. Now I did say that this is five minute oatmeal. You could see we're starting to get little bubbles around the side already. This is getting hot. So I used to take a spoon and stir all these ingredients around, but what happens is if you leave the spoon there inside the oats, they get really, really hot and you can't even touch the spoon. So I came up with a great trick. Here I have some natural cinnamon sticks. They are so good. Actually a lot better than the powdered cinnamon stuff. But if you only have the powdered stuff, you could use that as well. But I'm just going to go fishing here for a nice cinnamon stick. Here we go. And I'm just going to use my cinnamon stick to flavor the broth, the oatmeal, but I'm also gonna use it to stir up my ingredients. It's a perfect little stir. And once you feel like everything's homogeneous and blended together, just drop it in. Now we're gonna give this a minute or two just to come up to a little simmer and we'll add our oats. As you could see, now our oatmeal has come to a rolling boil. Again, if this was just milk, this would be spilling all over the stove. So that's one of the reasons I prefer to use water. And another reason is just really healthy. So I'm just gonna lower this down to a little bit of a simmer and I'm gonna bring in my oats. Now, when you get oats, some of you may be used to looking for those little packets that have the flavoring in them. Don't use those things. Those don't taste as good and they're not as healthy for you. Just go for natural. This is not a sponsored ad, although feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy for you to sponsor a video but just go for the old fashioned oats. You don't need the two minute oats, the five minute oats. This cooks really quick. Just go for the natural old fashioned oats. And if you look inside, they're really, really nice whole oats. I'm just gonna use a cup measure here. This is actually two thirds of a cup. I don't know how much to add. It depends on how big your pot is. When you're cooking kosher, you gotta be willing to experiment and fill it out and spill oats all over your stove like I did. All right, so I'm gonna add in this much oats. And then we'll stir it and see how it feels. So now here we go. I'm gonna stir up the oats a little bit and I could feel instantly this is way too watery. All right, and this just comes from experience. Just add some more oats. Okay, and give it another feel. Now, if you're gonna say, David, Mr. Cooking Kosher Man, I don't know what it should feel like. That's right, because you've never made it before. But if you make it and you learn the feeling, then you'll get really good at it. Right now, it's starting to feel a little thicker. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more and we'll be done. That's perfect. Zhuk, and we're in. 
Now this feels perfect. Now all you need to do is leave it on a small simmer, almost your lowest fire you possibly can, and just give it a couple of minutes. Now at this point, because the fire is so low, I could actually leave the spoon in there and I don't need to worry about getting hot. Now the kitchen is really starting to fill up with the smells here of the nutmeg and you see the cinnamon stick here and the maple syrup. It's just such a good way to start the day. If you like to have a healthy, hearty breakfast in the morning, don't reach for cereal, don't reach for that power bar. This literally takes five minutes and you have a homemade delicious breakfast and you even get a filthy dirty stove with tons of oats all over it. And then you could ask your kids to clean it up because you don't feel like it. And by you, I mean me. I don't feel like cleaning your stove. Okay, a couple more minutes, this will be ready. You remember when I said that you could leave the spoon there and it won't get hot? So that's not true. Most of the things that I say, I hope are true, but I literally can't touch this. Let me get a pot hole. I got my pot holder here. And you see this has now come to a simmer. At that point, it's up to you how long to let it go. It's been about five minutes total. So if you want to stay very strict to the title of the video, you can say that your five minute oatmeal is done. If you like your oatmeal a little more well cooked, and you want it a little mushier, let it go for another minute or two. If you want it that the individual oats kind of retain their form a little more, then take it off at this point. I'm gonna let it go for another 30 seconds and then we'll eat. And there you have it, the tastiest five minute oatmeal and you made it yourself. For those of you who don't have a lot of experience cooking in the kitchen, this is something you could do. Trust me, you could do this. And by the way, never trust anyone who says trust me. What I'm drinking along with this is some iced coffee, homemade iced coffee, and I got my spoon and let's give this a taste. The moment of truth. I got my cinnamon stick. It smells really good. Here we go. We have a few brachas in this bowl, so I'm just going to show you the order here. First bracha is mizonos for the oatmeal. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei minei mizonos. That is really good. And so easy to make. You can make this at home. You really can. Trust me. Don't trust people. I could really taste all the elements here. I taste the nutmeg and um, the maple syrup. I love the flavor of the maple syrup. You could add a lot of that if you like it really sweet, but for me, I just like a little bit as a flavor. Let's taste our fruit. Here I have some blueberries, some bananas. You can use strawberries or raspberries. Use whatever you like. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melcholam pri hadama. Amazing. As easy as the oatmeal is to make, bananas are even easier to make. And our iced coffee. Very refreshing, so tasty. This is the perfect breakfast. This is the perfect way to start your day and it doesn't take long to make, you'll love it. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Cooking Kosher. We're so glad you could be here today and I'm so excited to hear from you in the comments below what you'd like me to make for you next. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you get all our videos as they're uploaded and uh, We'll see you next time. Enjoy.